Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to cover the basics of Microsoft Excel. I recently uploaded a series, a three-part series, that covered the absolute basics, things like entering data on Excel, rows, columns, manipulating data such as the size, the font, the color, manipulating cells such as the size and color again, but also things like borders, I also went through some basic formulas on Excel. I'm trying to recall from memory that I'm sure there was a lot more to it than that, but they were the main features of the series. If you want to go and take that series first, which I highly suggest you do, then go over to my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. 99% of the material on this website is all for free. Just go to free stuff at the top here, find the Excel basics course or page click on that and this is the absolute basics here we have part one part two part three just click on the links and get started this is the series I'm doing now basics continued and once again there'll be three parts to this series so please go back and watch this series and then uh, come back to this video and uh, carry on from here so I am assuming that you've taken the absolute basics and you know about entering data etc so I'm not going to go through that in this series what I am going to go through in this series are things like tables and graphs we are making use of Excel and showing you what most people use Excel for we're also looking to some more advanced formulas and also sorting data adding comments freezing panes that sort of thing if any of that sounds confusing or overwhelming don't worry I'm going to explain everything as this series goes on. So this is part one of three parts. So let's create a table, a basic table, and let's say this table is going to show sales per customer. So we can do sales per customer, and all I'm doing is making these columns, or this first column, column A, bigger, by stretching it as per series one, you know, just using this drag feature to increase the width of column A. So sales per customer, and this is company, let's just call it company A, just to keep things simple. We will center the text, we'll make it bold, and we can underline. Okay, sales per customer, company A. And we want sales to show per month. So let's do Jan 19. Or let's do Jan 18. Jan 18. And let's just drag that across. So we can do an entire year. Or we can even do two years. Let's do two years of data. So let's go all the way to December 19. So I'm just using that little box at the bottom right. So you put in some data and then you can drag... It just saves you time. If I had to enter all these dates manually, obviously it would have taken a lot longer than just dragging and dropping, which took me a couple of seconds. Okay, so we've got sales per customer A. Let's put our customers in so we can do um, ABC supplies. We can have um, customer... I'm just going to pull these in. I'm just going to make these names up. So customer A, we can have customer B, we can have XYZ Limited. And I'll just carry on and enter a load of fake customers here. We can have good customer, bad customer, gold limited, silver limited bronze and co we can have Europe and co I'm purely making these names up just so we can have a list of customers and create this table so we got some there let's just add a few more let's do Tesco Sainsbury's and we can also have well-being I'm just reading things that are on my desk and also parking supplies okay so these are our customers so we're creating a basic table here to the left we have 
customer names and at the top we have the month and this is sales per customer so we can enter the sales per customer per each month and then we can total months down the bottom here so we can let's put a total here so we can have total sales per month and we can also have right at the end if we make this column this last column bigger we can have total sales per customer so we can show total sales per month and total sales per customer once again let's send to that let's underline that let's underline this okay so a very basic table here but this is how most people use Excel when they're creating tables something like this now the way I've created this is not really meant to be printed um, or save like to a PDF file if you wanted to do that then I suggest you do something in the center of the page and you add your borders and you create a table you know something like this and you fill in the table with lots of fancy borders and lines um, like this and you create your table and then you can print that off you know that would look a lot more impressive if you're going to print that off than something like this which isn't going to show you very well so I thought I'd just mention that just in case some of you want to print off any of the uh, tables that you're doing so let's get rid of these borders no border I do apologize if I'm going too quickly if I am then I suggest you go and watch that absolute basics course or just watch the video again you can pause the video have a think perhaps try and follow along on your Excel all these things should help you to learn and, and make the most of this free content okay so let's put in some borders let's do a border here just to separate our suppliers from the months so we want a border down the right here so let's open our border and let's do right border I'll click on that so then we have a border appearing to the right here and we can also have a border going along the bottom here so let's highlight those months and let's go to the border once again and let's do bottom border okay so now we have our borders okay let's end here and I'll speak to you in the next video in the next video we'll talk about sorting out this data here perhaps making it alphabetical and I'll also talk about adding comments and freezing panes what I'll do between now and the next video is I'll add some sales information in these boxes here just so I don't have to waste two or three minutes of video just entering random numbers in these boxes so I'll speak to you in the next video Thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you soon.